In this series of videos we're going to be looking at some programming techniques in Python 3 and I'm going to be using Replit uh, for doing my programming but it doesn't matter if you're going to use a different IDE because the programming techniques are exactly the same and all the codes and the reason I'm using Replit is because the actual code and the output of the program are in the same window which makes it much easier for recording the video. If you're going to be using something else like uh, Idle for example there's a separate video on how to operate the Idle interface but other than that that, uh, everything will be the same. So I'm just going to give you a quick uh, demonstration of how uh, Replit works. So um, you can use Replit to program in lots of different programming languages. So this is the uh, the front page. If you just go to uh, repl.it, and you can drop down a list of languages here. So I think they're in order of popularity. So if you select Python, what it will do is it will take you straight to the editor. Now I'm already logged in here. If, you, if you're not logged in, you'll get a box at the top right which asks you to log in or sign up, but you don't need to. You can just click the background, that will disappear. However, um, logging in will give you the benefit of being able to save your programs as you go along, very much like Scratch if you've used that. And also, you can share. So you can use the URL at the top of the, um, the browser to be able to share uh, that program. Obviously using Replit also has the benefit that it works on any platform so if you're using an iPad for example or even a phone um, although it's a bit fiddly you can create programs in Python. It'll give you a random name uh, to begin with and that's just to uh, force you really to give it uh, a sensible name. So you can give it a sensible name for a program, not a, not a program but a program and um, you can put a brief, brief description in there if you want to and then um, you can start going. Uh, this pane on the left is for when you get into more advanced programming, so if you create files and things like that, or multi-file um, projects, but we don't need that for the, for the beginner's level that we're looking at. So the screen is split into two halves. So the half on the left is the editor where you create your multi-line programs and the section on the right with a black background uh, is where you can type in a command uh, a line at a time a um, bit like the first window you get in idle if you're familiar with that so if I want to create a program uh, or, or I can type it over here so I can print uh, hello don't need a capital letter there um, notice it's got all the um, features of a VLE so it color codes things it suggests um, syntax as you're typing and so for example if you, um, it'll suggest uh, auto completion of words and um, it'll tell you what each of the commands uh, does so I can print hello and I can print hello again now if you've done no programming at all you might be able to guess what that does but we're going to have a look at print in the next video so um, there's a run button at the top and that will run my program and the results will appear in the right hand side. I can also on this side uh, type individual commands um, and see what they do. So when I'm practicing with print and seeing what I can do or if I, um, if I want to stop my program so once I've got a bit more advanced and I'm using variables and things I can stop my program or when my program is finished I can check the value of different variables. So if I set um, score for example to be zero at the start and my program is behaving a bit strangely I can check the value of score and see what it is so I can do that throughout my program and I don't need to save it it saves as I go along so if I just close this and then log in again and come back my program will be saved um, I can share it using the this full address now I've given it a proper name so it, the format is uh, REPL.IT, then at your username and then the name of the program. Space is replaced by um, hyphens. Oops, don't want to do that. Um, or if you want to see your whole program, your whole set of um, programs, they're called REPLs. So if you click My REPLs, uh, you can see all the programs you've created. That's an, another random one uh, that got created. So you can delete them, for example, and um, and it's quite useful to be able to share in things like forums if you're a member of a, a programming forum or in my case a teacher's forum. So I've created a program. This is one of the OCR coding challenges. So I've put that in the description as well. And I can share that with other people just by sharing that address. Or I can actually share all of my programs by just um, sharing my, my uh, URL just at the user level. So that, that you'll be able to see um, 
all my programs here and there's a button at the bottom to load more so I'm going to um, suggest that if you're learning to program in the UK you might want to have a look at the OCR coding challenges booklet for GCSE and A level students on my website and I'll put a link to that in the um, beneath the video uh, I'm creating a set of sample solutions uh, to those sorts of things and some of those are in here so number names is one of those so one of the th challenges is a program to write a number uh, let's write a program that takes a number, so 123, and saying words, what that number is. So you can share um, things like that. So I've got some example programs uh, here for you to look at that use a variety of interesting techniques. Okay, so that's my introduction to REPL and why I think um, it'd be worthwhile creating an account and logging in. But there are other um, services available. So my daughter, for example, uses Trinket at school and lots of schools use Idle and save them files themselves. But as I said, the coding is exactly the same. So it doesn't matter which one you use. The only difference is that they all use colour coding for the editors, but the colours are different. So um, I think the keywords are orange, for example, in Idle and they're blue in, in uh, Replit.